In this video, we will create these fast arpeggios which are widely used in the genre of chiptune music. For this we use a crisp sound that follows the basic waveforms. For this example to work properly, the volume should respond to the velocity over a wide range. Because, we want to accentuate the sound exactly after recording, using some editing functions of the pattern sequencer. Before recording, let's assign and suitable arpeggio pattern. Part 2. Edit. Ensure that arpeggio is turned on for the part and as the master setting. Sync quantize is good for if we have to precisely play something within a measure, but in our example we don't need it. The right arpeggio, we will find in the synth comp category and there in looking in general. This one repeats after three notes, this is good for us. In the common tab, we set the unit parameter to 50%, this doubles the arpeggio speed. And for grid, we use the lowest value, otherwise notes would be skipped. Ready for recording our arpeggio. Rec quantize does not matter in this case so we leave it as it is. With key on start we ensure that the first note is exactly placed at the beginning of the measure. Loop, we want to keep off, not to accidentally overwrite some of the first notes. The recorded arpeggio is still too slow. So, we increase the tempo, let's say to 240. OK, let's listen. Sounds good so far. For accentuation, we set the volume for each note to an initial value. From measure 1 to 9, which covers all 8 measures, we set all notes to maximum velocity. With gate time, we can set the note's length. We will just try another value here. The previous value was better. With a crescendo function, we can now accentuate our notes to get a rhythm. The velocity range means the amount of velocity changed during the crescendo. When using negative values, we can gradually decrease the velocity of the notes between two defined positions. Let's quickly do some crescendos here. and listen what we have done. Then, our melody could sound like this. <laughs> 